My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mita, and if you are new to my channel, comment down below and say hello. Hi. <laughs> and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button it really helps me out guys and if you like my content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification belly bell so you can get notified every time that I upload guys so let's get into today's video today guys I will be doing a sunset eye which you can see here I have completed it looks stunting I will be using the yes please palette for these two shades this shade here in French Kiss and this shade here in Champs my goal in the future is to create a makeup forever palette with four shades for my entire um, either four or five shades for a sunset I would like to create a makeup forever sunset palette I have went to Sephora and I bought this free um, palette where you could put your own you could collect your own shadows and put them in here so these were the three shadows that I bought this kind of like ocean, gorgeous pigmented blue. I mean, literally, I'm just passing lightly on it. This pigmented sheen orange, and then this kind of red orange. And when I looked at this, these colors, I put them together in thoughts of a sunset. I am missing a yellow, and um, I would need another orange, just like a non-shimmery orange and a yellow and maybe a gold and that would be like my complete sunset palette so i will be going online to see what else makeup forever has or going to another sephora where they have or a makeup forever store where i can find because i would really like to make just a sunset palette i want one so bad for this summer and these are the eyeshadows to do it with girl because these eyeshadows today have proven me that they are pigmented to the gods as you guys saw light swatches and just bam in my finger i mean look at this look guys you guys will see in this video that i did this effortlessly okay now guys the lipstick that i have on is matte Lux by milani i think i forgot to mention this in my video so i just want to make sure that i let you guys know that the concealer that i always use is tarte shape tape okay so guys, also, uh, stay tuned to after I finish doing my makeup, I will be um, doing a live voice call with my brother who is incarcerated. A lot of you hashtag Free Pee -wee, so I wanted to bring it to you guys. Also guys, his um, prison address will be in the description down below. All pen pals are welcome, um, even if it's the kindest support letter, it just helps his day go by better. Um, he invites any friends all friends are welcome um he's not really looking for like so to speak a girlfriend but all friends are welcome he loves making new friends and his interests are animals environment um trips he loves to hear about people who go on adventures loves to hear about your adventures um he's very adventurous and just an overall funny happy go lucky guy all right so let's get right into this video and let me show you miss thing how i did this look howard me and howard twinning today <laughs> we twinning we twinning <laughs> girl i can't but this eye though hi hunty hi oh girl i've been feeling these halo looks lately i don't know my sister Let's get into this video. Let me stop messing with y'all. All right, let's go. Hey guys, welcome to my face. <laughs> so guys, we are going to do a sun setty look. Eyes are primed, brows are done. So going in with this yellow in the Yes Please palette. I'm going to put this on the top of my crease. And I'm just going to pack that color on lock so so yeah guys i'm excited my brother will be calling in a little while and we will be talking to him on my channel <laughs> <laughs> so i was thinking guys i'm putting some pictures of him up while he was a baby 
and uh, we're going to see what reaction we get. <laughs> this is what brothers and sisters do, right? We bother each other. Even more so when the other one's in jail because he can't come out and whoop your ass. <laughs> I'm so bad. I am so bad. But yeah, me and my brother, we're like little kids, guys. We really are. Me and him are like little kids. We're always um, messing with each other. Just like we did when we were younger. So as you see, this yellow is getting more and more intense, guys. It is looking scrumdeliocious. Getting that nice, nice base to start blending my other shadows. Okay, so the next one I want to go in with is... This shade in the Yes Please palette is called Champs. So I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use another blending brush. Uh, yeah, use another blending brush. Just use that Champ color. I'm gonna go right under that yellow and just kind of blend that in. We want to make a nice sunset eye, guys. I have been dying to do a sunset eye, guys. I have been dying to do a sunset eye. How about you? How about you? Hmm? You been in the mood for a sunset eye? Because I have, girl. But now that I got this cut crease stamp, oh, man, it's so easy, guys. You just got to blend your shadows, and boom, you got your cut crease. Blend. It just You got to focus, like, on the crease blending. And once you get that down pack, like, blending your shadows together in the crease and just finding... The dimensions that's all it is about the crease finding the perfect blend of colors that seamlessly blend into each other so that when you cut your crease it looks phenomenal you know what I mean because what the, the crease could get really muddy really quick guys if you don't use a nice blend of colors you know what I mean now I'm gonna clean that brush look at how beautiful that looks oh doesn't that look like a sunset <laughs> So I'm going to, oh, excuse me, I'm going in with my little trio. I'm going to go in with that bright orange. You guys like the trio I made? Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? So I'm going to come a little deeper in the crease with this one because this one's going to really darken that crease. So when I cut it, it looks nice, girl. You feel me? You feel me? So guys, yesterday, I am looking on my, um... You know, I look at my notifications when people comment on my videos. And somebody comment F you. You believe that? F you. Like, okay. And then they deleted it. As if I can't see it in my notification. Now, if it was a regular subscriber, they're not just going to comment F you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to comment something shady. If they meant it to be shady, they're going to tell you why. They're not just going to comment F you. So I know that's just somebody being malicious. And I mean, there's not a lot of people that I'm not talking to at the current moment. So the fact that people want to be petty and like do something like that is just disgusting. But girl, I just, you know what? I, I, I brush it off and I move on because all that means, girl, is you're doing something right. When they stop hating you, girl then you need to switch up your game because you obviously doing something wrong. You know? I'm too old to be on that petty stuff. So I know it's somebody I know, and I know exactly who it is. Because that's the only person that I've had any issues with recently. So I know who it is. I don't care, girl. I don't let stuff like that bother me. You can't, girl. If you let stuff like that bother you, you will be stressed out all the time. You can't let people bring you down. You know, negative people, you just got to X them out your life, girl. X them out. But pretty much, yeah, that's what happened to me yesterday. Not that interesting. What happened to you guys? Anything Anything interesting lately happened to you? Comment down below. Let me know. I like to hear y'all stories. I like to hear y'all stories. Stories. So, there we go. YOLO. Hi, very sunset eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so now we are going to take a flat brush 
and we're gonna dip into that makeup forever that dark dark kind of red color and we're gonna pat this all over the eye like so like a dark red orange now we're gonna do it over here got it I'm gonna go in and take a nail art brush put some concealer on the nail art brush and we're gonna create the Sun here we go here goes nothing girls I got eyeshadow there. Here goes the sun. Cause the sun will come out tomorrow. Now we're gonna press down with this brush all the way to the bottom of the lid. Like so. Creating a halo eye now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this concealer edges are blended out because if not your halo won't look blended so you want to make sure that you blend out the edges they're gonna look a little choppy at first that's normal you could go in with your finger too I like to go on my finger sometimes just to ensure that I got good blendability on the outer portions the inside doesn't matter because you're going to put something there. I'm going to make sure the outside has good blendability. So we're going to go back into that orange we were using. And we're just going to blend out those edges like so. Just get a nice outside blend so that your look looks like it belongs there. You know what I'm saying? Like your halo looks like it belongs there. So I'm going to go back into that deep red that we used on the lid. And I'm just going to blend out those edges. So, and as you can see, it's kind of like the ripple effect that the sun makes in the water. So you can see behind me, see that? That's kind of what we're going for. So I kind of just want to make this line a little bit more wider. And then I want it to kind of come into, to gradually get small like that, you see? And then I'm going to just blend out these edges, girl, with my finger. And then I'm going to use the brush. I'm not going to add no product, just whatever's left over. Just kind of softly brush it over so that it has a seamless blend effect. Okay, so using this Wet n Wild little small flat brush, I'm going into the Yes Please palette to this gold right here. And I'm just going to pat that on here and that is very intense you see that looks beautiful guys and now with your finger you can blend the gold into the orange kind of sort of so I'm gonna clean this brush and I'm gonna use the same brush to blend that gold into that orange just a tad bit now we're gonna go back into that orange and we're gonna blend the orange into the gold starting with the bottom it's kind of making it look like a nice sunset -y eye guys and I'm loving this look girl this is looking fabuloso look at that girl oh that looks like a sunset girl okay now let's do 
I am going to do the other eye, put on some mascara, some mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I am back. We have two beautiful sunset -y eyes. Now, I'm thinking for the bottom, I want to go back into this palette. And what about creating a water, right? We could use this beautiful glitter here. It's glitter blue. And create a nice, like, ocean underneath the sunset. What do you think, guys? Is that pretty or what? And then kind of make a harsh, drag it out nice and harsh, like, and make a line coming up like this. What do you? I'm gonna use, you know, my shit better than sex, baby. Better than sex mascara, and I'm not gonna put any liquid liner on top. An inmate at New York State Department of Corrections That's my and brother. Community Supervision. This call Holly. is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept charges, press. One, to refuse charges, prep. Two, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, mama? How'd you do it? I'm great, I'm great. You good? You doing good? Yeah, how you doing? Well, you're five minutes early. You do realize that, right? I'm about five minutes early. You're five minutes early, and I'm still doing makeup. So, uh... But we're live. So, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'm doing time. I'm doing time. <laughs> <laughs> How's the time going? So, I figured while we were um, talking, I could put up some pictures of you when you was a baby. When I was a baby? Yeah. Oh, God, really? Yeah, because there's nothing you could do about it. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing that you can do to me right now. So, uh... While we're on the topic of, of baby, um, you told everybody my nickname, didn't you? Oh, yeah, his nickname is Pee-wee. <laughs> right. right. For those the of reason, you... Th the reason the only person in the world that still calls me that is my sister, Mita. And I was born premature, so that's why I got the name. I'm 6 feet, 210 pounds solid right now, so... That name doesn't apply to me no more, but Mita would never stop calling me that, so. Yeah, his name, his name is, is Pee-wee, forever. Um, <laughs> no matter how much he tries. Pee-wee, say what's up to Howard. Oh, what up, Howard? What are you doing today? <laughs> he just got out of jail, so. He say, <laughs> he got out of jail a few weeks ago, so. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. He left me here, he left me here. <laughs> he left you in jail? Yeah, man, bounced on me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Howard bounced on Pee Wee. He left him in jail, guys. Um, guys, I will put Pee Wee's um, uh, mail mailing address in the description. Anybody, he welcomes pen pals. You know, he likes interests, animals. He's not looking for a girlfriend, just, you know, somebody to talk to and converse with. So anybody that's interested and, you know, lonely and you just want to have a pen pal, he's very um, talkative and stuff. But let me let him talk because he only has 30 minutes Unfortunately, he's incarcerated. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I am incarcerated, man. But yeah, like she said, I do like animals. I love animals. Um, not so much as having them as pets, but looking at them from afar, studying about them, you know, stuff like that. I wouldn't mind like dogs. I grew up with dogs. Um, I don't like cats. Um, <laughs> but like I like learning about them. I love lions and. Tigers and bears? talking shit to me right he calls me all he does is talk shit to me oh you need to go do this you need to go do that and I try to explain to him it's pretty hard <laughs> to, 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 to you know scare me when you're behind bars you understand what I'm saying 
<laughs> because there's not much he can do right now. So it's pretty, it, it's, it's, you know, when you think about it, it's like, all right, he'll be out in another 15 months. He'll get over it. <laughs> you know? So Pee was down the other day, and one of his friends, you want to tell him what your friend did to cheer you up? <laughs> oh, this idiot. Hey, I'm on the phone. And I'm talking to Mita, you know, thank God, I always talk to Mita, she always made me feel better, it's my better half, but I'm talking to her, and this idiot, one of my boys in here, he knew I was like feeling down, like, so he knows I'm feeling down, so he comes to the, we got a phone, and we in the phone booth, that's how we speak on the phone, and there's a door, the door has a glass window where you can see anybody coming to the phone booth, so he comes to the glass window, and just bangs his head on the window, like extremely hard. Oh my god. Oh so my I'm, god. I'll just look at him. Yo, you retarded? And I'll just start cracking up because I didn't understand what the hell you did that for. He doesn't understand why he did that. He was like, Vox? Vox, you did? <laughs> why you do that? So basically, it reminded Pee Wee of a time when um, D- Daniel was younger. And Pee Wee, Pee Wee and Daniel are really, really close. Um, and yeah, that's my baby. That's my baby. And, from, yeah, Daniel, and, go ahead, tell him. This was a while ago. This was Daniel was probably three, four years old. And um, Pee Wee was like six, seven, eight. And um, Daniel was like six, seven, eight. And 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 and he comes to me, and he wipes the tears. He's like, he's like, Dio, what's wrong? He's like, Dio, don't cry, please. I'm like, I'm okay, baby. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. He said, you want to laugh? And I said, I'm fine. Don't worry about it, baby. Everything's okay. So he goes to the kitchen, and when I, and that apartment, the kitchen, you know, connects to the living room. So he goes all the way to the kitchen, and I'm just looking at him, but I'm still, like, depressed. So, you know, I'm thinking he forgot about it. He went to play. He runs full speed from the kitchen through the living room, then into the wall. Like at full speed, and then he just falls back and lands on his back. And I'm looking at him like, like, Daniel, are you okay? And I'm so nervous now because he came at it full speed, and he looks at me and starts cracking up. And I'm talking about like his face got red and he just starts laughing. And I'm like, why did you do that? Because <laughs> I want you to laugh. Oh my God, I just started laughing. I hugged him and I was like, damn, baby, man, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only our family. <laughs> yeah, but you know, kids that do anything to, to cheer you up, up. yeah, they, they, they really and, good spirited. And that's the baddest part about being in here to you people that are out there and, um, you know, I made bad choices. I'm not a bad guy, but I made some bad choices, yeah. you know, and, uh, you know, fast money and, you know, and, you know, putting my hands on cops and whatnot, you know, and stuff that I shouldn't be doing because I had so much anger in me at yeah. the time. So Pee Wee, Pee Wee, after yeah, after my mom passed away, he he, you know, we all dealt with it differently, and he kind of dealt with it differently. But I want to save that for when he comes home, and he'll tell you his story. Um, I want to talk about Pee Wee, the time we when we were living in the Bronx, remember? Yeah. And um, we were, we were in the ninety nine cent store, <laughs> and the little girl that was running up and down the aisles, and her mother was chasing her. <laughs> There was, a li- <laughs> there was a little girl in the store, and this little girl had her mother chasing her. They were Spanish. And um, the little girl, you could tell she didn't know any English. And she- But me and Pee Wee understand English, and I'll translate it to you guys in a second. But um, me and Pee Wee just stop, and we look, and we see this little girl just knocking stuff down the aisles, running up and down. Her mother's chasing her back and forth, and she's going like this. She's slapping her hands, and she's going, Me gusta el cosa de Halloween! <laughs> Which in English it means I love all the stuff of Halloween. <laughs> it just sounds funnier in Spanish. She was so happy, it was crazy, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a kid that happy in my life. <laughs> For Halloween decorations. <laughs> For Halloween decorations. Her mother screaming. Her mother was chasing her up and down. <laughs> It was so crazy, yo. It was mad crazy. We've had a lot, a lot, a lot of fun times. 
um, when I used to live in the Lower East Side, we used to live with Mommy in 658 Water Street, remember? We used to live down there, and, um, Pee Wee, <laughs> we, we couldn't be loud in the house, because my mom, you know, she, she didn't like all that loud music and noise, so we used to go to the hallway, so one day, <laughs> Pee Wee called it the office, so it, it became a trend, not on Twitter, <laughs> in the projects, <laughs> And everybody, when they would say they were going to meet us, they'd be like, all right, I'll meet you in the office. <laughs> so one time I had a friend come over and um, she said, where are we going? I said, I'm bringing you to the office. So she really thought we would go <laughs> to the office. And I actually bring her to the hallway of my mother's house. It was hilarious. The office, the office was iconic. Like the office, so many people started chilling in the office. I had to make it a duplex and you <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, We started using both hallways. Fifth and the sixth floor. It's hilarious. All the, all the residents love me. They let me do whatever I want. I literally do parties in the office. Like, yeah, people came, yeah. It was so funny. Parties, they came upstairs to parties. It was so parties. funny. And all and my mom and all the neighbors would come out. They would yell at us. <laughs> my mom would come out. And as soon as my mom would come to the hallway, and this was years back, guys, years back. I think I was like maybe 19, 20 at this time, but this was years back. This is Daniel was just walking. And um, so everybody would come down um, out to the hallway and be like, you know, can you guys quiet down? And you know, when you're a teenager, you hard headed. And my mom would come out, start yelling. When my mom would come out, we'd be like, okay, okay, we sorry. Everybody be quiet, be quiet, <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> And just and just chill and hang out. Yeah, it was it was cool. It was cool. I miss those days. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the office. Shout out to the office. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the office, man. I was making a quick point. I won't get into detail. Like me, I said, I wait till I get up to have that interview. But you know, John Don, it's important for you guys to stay out, man, and do the right thing. Cause now, you know, Danny talked to me that day. Told me how much he misses me. And you wish I was there for you could talk to me and, you know, and it, it kills me because he, he was able to do that. You know, now I talk to him, but now he can't just call me anytime he wants. And I can't just call him anytime I want. And my daughter, she says the same thing. You know, my daughter has my days down where it's on her iPad where there's a countdown of my days. And I called her the other day and she's like, Daddy, you got 466 days left. And I'm like, baby, baby, let me know when I got 66 days left. <laughs> Basically, the message he's giving, guys, is to do the right thing. You know, don't try not to screw up your life because the, the worst thing that you can have taken away from you is your freedom. And to, to get up every day and just, you know, be treated like a caged animal, it's just, it's, it's not a good look. It doesn't feel good. And most importantly, you don't get to be, you know, when, when bad things happen to you, the first thing you seek are the people you love. And in jail, you, you can't have those people. So you're really by yourself. It's like a... All is, is is really everybody, every man for himself, you know. Pee Wee's been and, fortunate. And not only that, like I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I have me now. You know, I'm able to talk to my daughter. I'm able to talk to my nephew. I'm blessed. There's people in here. There's a guy here who I basically like. He's my uncle, basically. He's like an uncle figure to me. Um, he's been down 41 years. He's been locked up. He's been locked up since he was 19 years old. He's 60 years old. You know, his case is. I've seen the paperwork on it. You know, somebody raped his sister and he killed that person. You know, and I could only, I could only sympathize with that because God forbid somebody was to hurt me that I would come back in here with a smile to get revenge on that person. So I can understand where he came from because him and his sister was really tight too. But he's been there 41 years and he has nobody. You know, nobody at all. He don't got nobody sending him packages. He don't got nobody to get on the phone and talk to. So, you know, I share my school mm. with him that me that sends me. So I understand how blessed I am to have my family, you know, because it, it, it sucks, man. This, these people can take your whole life away from you. This is not a place to be when you're guilty. You know, like, this is, I'm like, I hit a police officer, I get back into debt when I get out about that, but I don't deserve to be in the place that I'm in. I don't know if y'all know about this jail, but I'm in Green Correction Facility. This is the most violent jail in, 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 in New York. This is the most 
violent prison in New York. So, you know, I'm able to handle it, whatever, because, you know, not nothing I have built like that. I'm not no punk. But it puts you in situations where you have to do things where you don't want to normally do because you're trying to get back home to your family. You know, and there's people in here that can't use the phone. There's people in here that can't buy nothing from commissary because people are taking from them. There's people that can't get no packages because people are taking from them. And you know, I feel bad for those people, but I'm in a situation where if you don't fight for yourself, then nobody can help you. Every, yeah. every man for himself. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't do for yourself, why should anyone else do for you? Exactly. Yep. This is a jungle, yep. You know, and if you're too scared to get on the phone, and I did whatever I had to do to make sure I got on this phone to call my sister. Every day I call me that she could tell you. Yeah, every it's a day, struggle. Day, it's a this. struggle being in there. It's a struggle. People don't realize that. They don't realize that it's a struggle. And uh, um, another thing I want to say. Guys, if you want to see what I send my brother for a package every month, if you have a loved one who's incarcerated or you just want to be knowledgeable about it, comment down below and put hashtag free Pee and I will make another video. Or if you just want to see another video with me and Pee Wee talking shit, hashtag down below free Pee Wee <laughs> and we'll do another video, guys. So... Yeah, I believe we've been on for 16 minutes, so he still has another 14 minutes to go. He has 30-minute interval calls. Um, so, Pee Wee, what, what, what I wanted to ask you is, um, what's the first thing you're going to do when you come out? First thing I'm going to do when I come out is eat steak. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Is it going to be well done or medium rare? Or, uh, medium, medium rare. Ew. That That's parasites. You can get parasites like that. I, I'm, I'm living a parasite right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty, bitch. I'm thirsty, bitch. I'm thirsty, bitch. I'm thirsty, For sure. I got to agree with you there. So, Pee Wee, tell them um, about how the story you told me about when you was talking to a guy in prison about makeup. <laughs> I'm reading a whole lot now. When I'm not working out, I'm reading. 
So, you know, I'm learning a lot. There's a lot of good things you can do in jail, too, you know? So if you aren't here, if you have to be in here, if you have a family member who's in jail... Make the best of your time, right? Make the best of your time. I'm in an electrical trade. Um, I'm almost done with my electrical trade. I'll be a certified electrician in a month. And my job titles are I um, tutor these young boys to get their GED. I already have seven kids obtain their GED. I got another five that's going to take the test. I work so well, so send out good feelings to them and good thoughts. I hope they get it. It all pays off. Mm-hmm. The electrician thing, I picked it up really well. I find it ex- extraordinary. I love the teacher, and I'm almost done. Look at that. Mm-hmm. He's been using all his time in there in a very positive way. He, um, as he said, he's been doing the electrician trade. He also didn't mention how he goes to multiple groups, not just anger management, but he's done a lot and he stays busy. He has the most busiest days. He's more busier than me and I'm free. <laughs> I have my freedom and he's he keeps a, a a schedule and it just helps his mind and his body to get through the time that he has in there he doesn't want to waste the time in there doing nothing so he's being a productive you know he's being productive which is good he's going to come out better than he went in which is the whole idea of going to jail but there's a lot of people in jail who don't learn from their lessons as he told me there's people in jail who do drugs there's people in jail who you know are still living the lifestyle they was living on the outside just because you go in jail doesn't mean that you're automatically scared straight. You know, there's people who come out worse than when they went into jail, you know? That's a fact. That's so, a fact. That's, that's it's, it's, here, you know, not to put him out there, I won't say his name, but he just caught a heart attack. And, um, you know, and I've been telling him for months and months, don't stop, stop, if you're going to eat, because we're limited to what we eat. We got to eat what we got to eat. We got to eat the food they tell us unless you got family, like me that will send me food. So I'm blessed when me that send me food that I'm able to eat better. And that's another thing, guys. A, a good place, if you have someone incarcerated, to get food, which I have learned after sending many packages, um, is Dollar Tree. Um, electronically sealed items. So anything from rice to potatoes to chips to um, cereal, as long as it's electronically sealed, I've, I've noticed that they'll allow it inside. Um and, and cans, and cans, but the cans have to be standard size. I learned that the hard way. I tried to send him a big ass can of fruit, and they, they was like, no, no, don't yeah, get they it. Took it. So I have to, they took it. <laughs> so I tell them, I'm like, you know, dude, you gotta, if you gotta eat this food, fine, you gotta eat it, but work out with me. Like, you know, you just sit here and just, and people that just eat, and you know, he made a joke, like, no, all you do, um, spoon ups and pork lips. So, you know, I was like, all right, you know, that, that, that's that's <laughs> I only do spoon ups. You get it? Spoon ups and forklifts. what he means by getting money is working out so to him it's like he's 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 giving an analogy so if he's working out he's getting money that's the phrase he uses in prison it's getting money that means we're working out so he's basically saying if you don't want to work out he's not going to chase you around to make you work out he's worried about himself he's focused on himself and if you want to come for the ride he'll support you but if if not then oh well And Pee you gotta see all these makeup brushes. I literally have over 10 makeup brushes that I use for one eyeshadow look, but it's a gorgeous eyeshadow look. It's a sunset. <laughs> it's a sunset eye, and it looks so nice. I'm gonna send you a picture of it. It came out so. Did you ever do, you ever do a Halloween special for them? Yeah, I did Harley Quinn. You got one minute left. There goes that chick again. Listen, it'll be a great talk to you guys. Um, if you haven't checked out, we got Halloween special. You should look that video up. I want to be a makeup developer. He wants me to be a makeup artist. I did makeup art. I don't like it. I support her. 
the footage. I have seen her transform faces, and I couldn't believe it. It was like the people went to the studio and got this stuff done, and I couldn't believe it, man. But um, it's been great. I love you so much, Mita. I love you too, puppy. I call you tomorrow, right, Mama? Five o'clock. All right, bye, Pee Wee. Bye. Say bye, Howard. Okay, guys, so that was my brother, Pee Wee. <laughs> he hates when I call him Pee Wee. Hashtag free Pee Wee. <laughs> he hates when I call him Pee Wee, but I'm going to call him Pee Wee to the day I die. So, yeah, guys, you guys like my new chain? It says sunshine. It's what me and my mom used to call each other. I got it on eBay for $10, guys. I'll link it down below. It's very, very thick, and it's great. I mean, they did an excellent job. It's a nameplate. You give any name that you want, and it's great for gifts and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, guys. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to me and my brother talk smack. <laughs> talk smack. Um, I, the best advice I could give for having a loved one who's incarcerated is just making them laugh and talking about good memories. You want to keep them as positive as you can while they're in there. That being in a, a, a congested and... Um, contained environment like that it's easy to do the wrong thing you know what I mean it's easy to, to spin off and just be angry all the time and so what I do is I encourage him as much as I can and I try my best to be as supportive as I can so that he can make the right decisions and I can support him on his journey to making the right decisions and to becoming the best him that he can be which he has he's come a long way and I'm very very proud of him um, I'm so happy uh, with the person that he's become and I just hope it continues when he comes on the outside and I really believe that when he comes out he is going to be a better person for um, all his struggles and just the whole experience that he's been through. He's been working really hard at bettering himself and I have a lot of faith in him and I believe that he is going to be a better version of himself when he is released next year in December. Um, so yeah guys again if you want to see what i um sent him and if you want to tune in to another uh voice chat with us comment down below hashtag free peewee and i will do another um i guess uh themed makeup look and then we could chit chat with peewee you know i guess yeah <laughs> so let me come up close so you guys can get a better look at this this is a sun sun what what you say what what you say this is a sunset eye and I was looking, I was inspired by this mural. I love the beach and I love a sunset and I thought maybe the sun glaring down like this and the blue underneath represents the water that's back there. So this is what this makeup looks like. <laughs> so guys thank you so so much for um tuning in to today's video i hope you enjoyed this makeup look as well as getting to know my brother peewee um aka his actually his name is edwin aka peewee but i call him peewee so screw that hashtag free peewee down below and tell me what you thought about today's video thank you so so much for watching guys i love you so so much and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys